Hey Pisces, it is your girl Blue Phoenix and I'm back with a reading for us today. We are going to get a quick reading just to see what energy you will be in this week. What's going on in your world, Pisces? So come on in, my loves. Come in, come in. If you're new here, hello, my darling. Welcome to your home planet. This place was created just for you, Pisces. So take a look around. See if you like the place. I know you will. It was made with you in mind, okay? I love you all so very much. Don't forget to hit the like button for your girl. Let me know that you love me, baby. I appreciate all the love, the hugs, the kisses. All that great energy y'all give me, Pisces. I love y'all so much. Thank you to the VIP citizens and the Planeteers of Planet Pisces. And of course, all of the official citizens of Planet Pisces. All right, so come on in, Pisces. Let's see what energy will you be in this coming week. If you need a personal reading, look down below in the description box as everything is listed in there. All right. So it looks like y'all are dead in something this coming week here or this week that we are in. All right, for some of you guys, y'all could have um, a child, okay? Something about children could be significant here for you. And there's also something here about your desired outcome coming into fruition, okay? All right, so Opal, Azure, and Oceana. All right, those are the three <clears throat> energies coming through this morning in the reading, all right? So Spirit, what energy will Pisces be in this week? Come through, Spirit. Ooh, we got the Beatles, baby. This card always makes me feel like the magician because the first thing up that I see is four elements, success, right? Global, Sagittarius could be significant. I always think about Jupiter, big energy when I hear global, right? It makes me think of Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. Travel could be significant right now. You could be traveling a lot more or thinking about traveling. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. all right. You also have Harmony, United Kingdom. I wanna hold your hand. That was such a special song to me when I was a little girl. Um, Can't Buy Me Love, Timeless, Copyrights, Unique and Original, okay? For some of you guys, y'all could be thinking, I heard thinking of a master plan, okay? So something about your master plan. Oh shit, Pisces, y'all breaking out the matrix, baby, okay? You're seeing the truth this week, okay? <clears throat> it says, decoded the matrix, God-given truth, the chosen. Come through all my chosen ones, okay? The oracle, agent, hacker, red or blue pill, program, no weapons formed, and possibility. Energies Pisces will be in this week, please, spirit. What is the Beatles here for? What do they manifest in? What is this? <clears throat> the number four could be significant, Pisces. All right. Then we have do the right thing, okay? Spike Lee, come through, all right? Y'all are going to be integrating something or combining something this week, okay? All right? <clears throat> something, ooh, come on. Come on, but God. Did we talk about that yesterday? Go watch yesterday's reading, all right? For those of y'all who did not... Um, watch it all right the birds are here all right so pay attention to messages synchronicities symbols things like that to guide you all right i'm here to confirm for you or something like that so it's something here that you might be wanting to move forward on or something like that pisces and i'm here to ask for confirmation so let's say for instance that you want to make a move to another state all right ask you ask god for uh, a sign a, a symbol confirmation or something like that okay all right i'm hearing you could be specific be specific with us okay all right mm -hmm. <laughs> okay energies pisces will be in this coming week okay we end in karmic shit <laughs> i got i can see it it's a karmic ass relationship it's karmic shit right so it looks like y'all are bringing yeah, some of y'all might be good with your words, or somebody could be a wordsmith, okay? All right, with Eminem here, somebody could like Eminem, somebody could like Tina Turner, shit, I don't know, um, the Beatles, <laughs> okay? But, yeah, something here about um, ending something karmic. Interesting. Okay, let me get one of these real quick. Tell me about this energy Pisces will be in 
Gratitude increases the flow of abundance. Nine of Cups, Pisces. Whatever this is you tapping into this week, baby. The Nine of Cups is what you're filming. Come through, Pisces. What's this going to look like for Pisces this week, Spirit, please? What do they need to be aware of? Squirrely friends. Hey y'all. Good morning. <laughs> I only take on what I can handle and reach out for help when I feel overwhelmed. All right. I accept this ending and make room for a new beginning. Okay. So what's going on in the background that Pisces needs to be aware of spirit? Let's shuffle these. I didn't shuffle these yet. You have assistance here. Three of Pentacles is here. Okay, that is success. All right, y'all breaking out of some sort of illusion here. Some sort of um, feeling entrapped in, in a certain situation. Okay, what does this look like for Pisces? What do they not see coming to spirit this week with this energy? Come on. Come on. This is something you've been hoping, wishing, praying for, Pisces. This is faith. This is hope. <laughs> I love it. Right? What does this look like for Pisces, spirit? Get it together, not good. Come on, wake on up, not good. <laughs> she be sleep first thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Gotta shake a little bit, all right? Hey, little squirrely. Oh, my God, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, I love this energy. <laughs> this is beautiful, all right? We gotta wrap this up real quick, but it looks like Pisces, some kind of ending is bringing on some new beautiful beginning. The Nine of Wands is here and it is speaking to me and it is just saying, hold on, my love, we got you. It's like something, I don't know, it's like you leaning on, it's, it's some sort of support here for you this week, Pisces, okay? It's like I'm seeing someone like literally sticking a, something in the ground for you to lean on to like don't worry we got you we got you right it's almost over with you got this okay somebody could have military background or something like that okay this nine of wands is really really speaking to me um pisces give me a minute what is the nine of wands about what is this that this tower okay scorpio energy transformation ending bringing new beginnings okay the ten of swords here Come on through, spirit. It's something here about you recognizing when you feel overwhelmed, Pisces, and knowing when to reach out for help. Real talk. With the Two of Pentacles, look, you got the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. More ending of cycles and bringing new beginnings. And also the Wheel of Fortune, that even, come on, the Wheel of fortune you know what i'm saying like i don't know it's some good shit coming here and then you got the ten of cups pisces <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> i don't know what you're doing this week baby but whatever it is i'm for it okay come through somebody could have blonde hair or something okay all right somebody could be upset with you about something or something here okay all right somebody could feel empty without you pisces okay or something like that all right mm-hmm all right, yeah, somebody could feel like an outcast or something here, okay? You might receive a message from this person, okay? You got karmic behavior as well here. All right, somebody could be a musician, all right? All right, the color purple is significant right now, Pisces, all right? All right, it says, I, I only take on what I can handle and reach out for others. Reach out for help when I feel overwhelmed. There's something here with this nine of wands. That is 9-11 on the clock, Nine one one. It's so like, you, you like, help, help, it's, and I'm here, it's here. It's, it's here you got the help but it's something here about like you can't like don't try to take on too much okay it's there it's finished it's it's 10 10 and then 10 10 10 pisces this is huge big ass endings okay prototype is here okay all right, some of you guys could be doing something different, doing something a different way. And aliens, yeah, it's something here about, okay, yeah. Tell 
Tell me what the nine of wands is signifying for Pisces, please. What is this that they're almost done with, spirit? That's a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, you've been working hard, Pisces. You've been working hard. I'm so freaking proud of you. And I know your team is too. All right. A lot of you guys have been tapping with it, going within, right? Finding you're working on your balance is what i'm hearing okay you got the eight of pentacles two of pentacles and the moon with the lovers here okay i'm telling you especially with the lovers this is definite and the black and white on this card this is very much making me feel yin and yang energy like you've been going through something you've been working at something here pisces okay all right you've been tapping in you've been uncovering things that have been hidden okay all right i feel very much productive energy from you this coming week pisces a lot of you guys are cleaning home, okay, cleaning your homes or something like that, all right, okay, something about alcohol as well here for someone, okay, all right, what's the ten, what's the ten of cups here, how does Pisces get there, dang, ooh, receptive, it's okay. You got the Three of Swords, the Empress, the Nine of Cups with the King of Cups. This is emotional stability. This is emotional maturity as well as what I heard. Okay. It's something here about you. I don't know. Tell me what the Three of Swords is with the Empress. Some of you guys could have dealt with heartache from a maternal figure or something like that. Okay. All right. Definitely with the Page of Wands here and the Lovers. All right. Some of you guys could have been... Um, could have felt an absence of a, a, a or it could be feeling the absence of a maternal figure in your life or something like that it's something here because we started off talking about children this was one of the first cards that came out right all right so this could be your mothering role or this could be a mothering person in your life or mothering energy or something tell me and this is 33 look at that 33 Pisces. Three is the number of manifestation. I think of the Holy Trinity. Okay, what's the three of swords with the Empress? What is this heartache? What is this? Some of you guys could have lost the child before, okay? Whether abortion, miscarriage, stillbirth, okay? It says right here, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels, okay? For those, I know that's not going to apply to everybody, but right, we're reading for the whole planet. So put the energy, you know, pick up what resonates and leave the rest for your brothers and sisters, I, okay? <clears throat> Whatever this is, Pisces, you're getting in a place of acceptance, of understanding, okay? Whew. All right, and then you got the Six of Cups here. That's more childlike energy, okay healing the inner child is what i heard as well all right onk, onk. that's not what i meant to say but okay the, the onk could be significant <clears throat> but i was gonna say um seashells seashells could be significant right now the nautilus okay the fibonacci sequence okay all of that shit could be significant right now go look it up if you don't know what i'm talking about okay all right, even the Vesica Pisces, I heard that too. They say it a little different, but I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. But the Nine of Cups with the King of what's the Empress with the Three of Swords here for Pisces, please? Oh, the Six of Wands. Whatever this is that that you are dealing with, that you're healing from, that you're moving forward from, you have the Six of You're going to be victorious in this Pisces. This week coming up. It, give me some give me a message for this week coming up spirit but i'm feeling very much alignment okay purpose healing moving forward tell me more spirit black sheep some of y'all could feel like an outcast some of y'all could feel like just like i heard go it alone okay some of y'all could have could be going it alone all right what's the nine of cups with the king of cups please It's like it's a go. Look, he got his thumb up. Like it's a go. Go ahead. Get on the get on your boat. Get on your boat, Pisces. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Fine. All right. I also heard a spiritual advisor. Some of you guys could be looking into getting a spiritual advisor or something. A life coach, a therapist. Okay, something like that. Okay. I know I got my own life coach and spiritual advisor that i talk to every week you know what i'm saying shit i'll be around here 
looking crazy if I ain't talk to somebody tell them all this shit that be on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Journaling is also good for that too, for getting it out. You know what I'm saying? Getting it up and out. Not letting that shit just sit. You know what I'm saying? This type of shit right here. Don't let it just sit. Like, express that shit is what I'm hearing, okay? All right, so tell me about um, any outside energy, spirit. Uh, what outside energies? What I told y'all earlier, the magician, ultimate manifestation. Any outside energies? What's this karmic, whew, karmic relationship here? Karmic connection, also karmic behavior here with the birds. So you got karmic out here twice. All right, so let's see. We're going to check in with this karmic energy just to see what this is. All right, some of you guys could have had a fight or a disagreement with somebody here recently, okay? All right, tell me about somebody could be on drugs or alcohol. Somebody could be very much uh, materialistic or something here is what I'm hearing. Okay, you could have been, okay, with this person and knowing them for quite quite some time. Something about guns, too, is what I'm here. I don't know what the hell we do, but okay. <laughs> All right, some of you guys could be going through legal issues or something this week, okay? Or, <clears throat> or closing out legal, something about legalities, all right? That's karmic. <laughs> the devil. The devil, right? The number two could be significant, all right? Also, the number 15, the number six, Gemini, Capricorn. But you look, you're moving away from this energy, right? You got the five of pentacles with the sun. It's like something has been waiting to, to for, I don't know, it's like something, excuse me, the five of pentacles with the sun, to me, is like something has been, hasn't been, hasn't been illuminated or something <clears throat> but with the six of swords from the devil it's like you're moving away from that energy pisces especially with this eight of swords right here like something's been blocking your sun or something okay children are very significant for this reading y'all i don't know what this is about i don't know if this is your inner child or if this is an actual like children what's the what's the sun For some of y'all, this could be a child's parent, like a child's mother or father or something. Then you got the nine of swords. All right, child support is here for some of y'all, all right? Some about child support, somebody not taking care of their child or something. Somebody been, all right, listen, with this energy right here, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is an outside energy. I about asked what the outside energy is, so it obviously is, right? It's like someone here may have problems with consistency, with taking care of their responsibility, with providing or something like that. All right, it's like they have a karmic relationship with something here. They might be uh, skipping out on their responsibility or something like that. Okay, it's something about them doing the right thing. Okay, all right. A lot of you guys could could be could be in your head about this, about someone being doing what they supposed to do or something. Okay, tell me about this I can see no shit. What this is? Somebody could have been abusive. Somebody somebody was hiding you or something. Look how he's standing in front of her. Like somebody wanted to be the lead in your life, but they wouldn't. It's listen. It's like I don't know. Like they didn't want you to shine or something, right? Somebody they may be talking about you or something. Okay, what? It's something here about traveling too. All right. Go bravely is on. I'm telling you, it's something here about travel. Right? Y'all see that Landrell? Go bravely. Go forward, my child. Go forth. <laughs> Somebody could could have been trying to block you from moving forward or something here now. Somebody been trying to block out your son. Listen, look now, okay? You got the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the Queen of Wands, excuse me, on the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But look, you got the devil with the six of swords 
and the five of pentacles with the sun this is like somebody wanted to keep you connected to something that was that was holding you back that could have had you stagnant or something here but the queen of wands is like that i'm about to move forward somebody could have tried to get a team of people to go against you or something or okay flock together like they wanted to get people on their side to see their side this could even be in court all right i'm seeing like a legal situation here for somebody okay but it's something here like this person tried to convince others i don't know <laughs> like they were the main person in your story that don't even make sense how you gonna be the main character in my story you know no no i'm the main character okay you know what i'm saying i don't know that's weird All right, somebody might try to come back and apologize with some flowers or something or some roses. All right, somebody last night could be Jackson. Okay, somebody could like Nipsey Hussle, okay. All right, back in time, look. Okay, y'all could have grew up in lack, okay, or, or if not you, this person. Okay, somebody, okay, I don't like that. This could even be a childhood friend. Somebody, listen, okay. I'm getting a lot of messages here. Listen, it's something here about this outside energy, right? I don't feel like it, like they coming after you like, ah, Pisces. I feel like this person is even unaware that they karmic. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like this person is looking at you and they're seeing you grow up, right? They're seeing you elevate or something. You could have used to hang out with this person and do just, just lazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Smoke weed all day. No shade to my weed smokers. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. <laughs> but it gets to a point where, you know what I'm saying? If it's getting in the way of your normal daily activities, you might need to put the blood down for a minute. You know what I'm saying? But it's something here like you might be outgrowing someone and it bless their heart <sighs> they want you to come back to the lack they want you to stay with them in poverty <laughs> the fuck? okay and i don't I, i'm not getting a feeling of like like ugh, pisces ugh. i feel like they are ignorant to it okay all right that's the en energy i'm getting okay trauma is here okay family reunion hurt and pain boys in the hood life lesson lack death poverty vengeance childhood friends uncertain okay what does pisces need to know about this karmic energy spirit the moon i'm telling you it's like they're ignorant to it i'm telling you real talk so it's like don't be mad at this person or whatever pisces just do what you've been doing. Continue to grow and elevate and everything. And guess what? They're going to have a couple of choices. Either they going to elevate to your level, right? Right? Or they're going to get the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's your choice. Either you're going to come up here with me and you're going to elevate. Or or you just going to, we're going to just be, we're going to grow apart further and further. Right? Because you're not going to de-elevate. <laughs> that's not the word I'm looking for. I don't even think that is a word. But anyway. <laughs> It's something like, okay, oh, look at all these swords. This person is worried, Pisces. You got the seven of swords with the nine of swords. What are we doing? Why are these swords out here? I don't like that. It even breaks back down to the seven of swords. Yeah. It's like some real underhanded, sneaky energy. Damn, what is this? Damn, tell Pisces about this karmic energy. Ten of Cups, this could be someone in your family. This could be someone you grew up with, okay? Yes, you got, look. You got the Ten of Cups out here twice. Rainbows could be significant right now. Somebody's name could be Noah, all right? I heard Sarah too. What is it they don't see this karmic energy spirit? What is it? The moon for this karmic energy, what is it? Sarah. 
seven again is seven stars in the sky. The number seven is significant for this reading. The nine of swords. What is this person worried about, spirit? They worried about you leaving them by the seas. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but the energy where it go, whether you literally leaving this person or you just outgrowing them, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The freaking five of swords. What? This, this person, they all in their mind. They all in their mind, I'm telling you. It's like, I'm seeing someone who has experienced like, Okay, listen, it's like you may have been left out in the cold in the past. You may have been, you know what I'm saying, in toxic relationships. It's something here about you stepping into the sun and the six of swords energy that this person is just like, how in the hell? I don't even feel, I feel like this person hasn't been through half of what you've been through or experienced or something. <coughs> And I feel as though they're bewildered. They're like, how? <clears throat> the hermit is here. Virgo could be significant. Cancer, Capricorn, Leo. All right. Aquarius energy. It's like you haven't lost your faith, your hope, your, your connection, your knowing is what I just heard. What does Pisces need to know about this karmic energy? Okay. It's something here. Listen, also... Don't feel like you got to do something for this person, all right? That's what spirit is telling me right now. I accept this ending and make room for a new beginning. It's something this person might reach out to you or something. I only take on what I can handle and reach out for help when I feel overwhelmed. This person may be reaching out to you for help. What should they do if this person reach out to them for help, spirit? What was... Three of Pentacles. What should Pisces do if this person reach out for health spirit? Nine of Cups. Oh, oh shit, man. Look. In the Queen of Wands. So for some of y'all, y'all might be able to help this person. But I, I heard hands off though. All right, it's not. It's not. I, I feel as though this isn't a physical help. I don't know what that means. Let's see. What do you mean by that spirit? vibrate love meditation okay so yeah that love isn't isn't necessarily physical all right even the poetic just somebody might be a poet here with the heart right there something here like okay yeah maybe you'll offer your advice to this person tell me more spirit yeah the empress is here it's like okay for this person this could be a family member this could even be a child for some of you guys like a, a grown child or something like, i don't know all right put the energy wake up but anyway it's something here like you you will inspire this person but it's nothing like you have to physically get up and go do something for this person it's something here about your, your energy that will help this person okay it's like you're gonna help this person okay i don't whether you do it intentionally or unintentionally it's something here about you helping them redirect or refocus their inner their attention even like getting their attention off of you and focusing on their damn self okay because that's what they need to do anyway what the hell you know what I'm saying? That I'll go back to us, right? You gonna it, it's something here about you. You gonna you're showing this person whether you know it or not, Pisces. You're showing this person how to come get it out the mud. All right, that's what I'm hearing. Like you're showing somebody how to do something. I don't know shit. Okay, what? <laughs> boss, I just saw boss. Boss is nowhere out here. I don't know. Empty without me. The hermit, I'm telling you. Look, and the five of swords. This person could be very much self-centered, selfish, not able to see things from a bigger picture, the bigger picture or something here. All right. For some of you guys, it's your time to yourself like the attention you give to yourself i feel as though that is going to influence somebody some kind of way i don't know what that even means but like i guess the way you take care of yourself 
because five of swords is also believe it or not this is one of my self-care cards in the right spread okay all right but that's what i'm picking up on right now something about self and the way that you treat yourself okay it's something here about yeah if i was to see the seven of wands you know what i'm saying go to nine of wands but <clears throat> twice right but it's something here about the way you i don't know stand up for yourself or protect yourself or something the way you care for yourself is is like showing this person something like damn pisces is serious they they not playing with me no more <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you talking about, Spirit? A old man could be significant, or an elderly man could be significant right now. Okay, you got the fool on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could be spiritual counselors, okay? Or something like that. Or like uh, inspirational speakers or motivational speaker or something like that, okay? Hey! 777. All right, them numbers could be significant. Write these affirmations and count your blessings. I'm manifesting some. <laughs> okay, spirit. Anything else about this karmic energy? I accept this ending and make room for a new beginning. Y'all, y'all not finna believe this. I, I just noticed this. The nine of wands is right here too. This is three times the nine of wands is here. It says, I am com I incredibly resist. I'm gonna get this together. Hold on. I am incredibly resilient and I can handle any challenges that comes my way the nine of pentacles is right here 99 pisces all right <clears throat> what's the page of wands for a spirit for this person <clears throat> judgment with the eight of cups you're going to help this person, Pisces, whether you know it or not, whether you want to or not. <laughs> All right. I don't, I, even if you're doing it, it's like something like you're going to be doing it. You don't even. And this could. I'm here for some of y'all. This could be multiple people. All right. All right. Beyonce could be significant. A Virgo could be significant. All right. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny is here. Some of y'all are going to be a household name. Alright. Alright, let's get some advice for you real quick, Pisces. We're gonna do that. Alright, it's supposed to be a quick reading. <laughs> Every time I say it's gonna be a quick reading, be like, damn, 50 minutes long. <laughs> Alright. To make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way takes me away from it. Alright. With Vanessa, that could be someone's name. Alright. Is it? Watch it work. Archangel Gabriel is here. All right, it's some type of magic happening in the, in your world, oh Pisces. I'm telling you, something's gonna be like ta-da. Okay, I'm telling you, look, victory with Omega is here. The ending, right? Alpha and Omega. Omega is the end. It says victory. Your desire is coming into fruition. Keep up the good work. Then you still got Vanessa here talking about which way brings me closer to my divine purpose. Which way takes me away from it, okay? Archangel Raphael is here with the healing. All right, Spirit. One message from Pisces, Spirit Guides. Crystal, that could be somebody's name, all right? It says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see, Pisces. I love you guys so very much. Thank y'all for being here, for uh, watching the video. Don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you need a reading, look down below in the description box, and I will see y'all next time. Love you.